What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Now I've been thinking about this for quite a while in Way of the Hunter, rares, I am so, so excited for rares to be added to the game, but also uniques, right? We got that roadmap like a month ago and it says something about unique. It doesn't only say rare fur types or just rare animals, it also says unique. So what does that mean? Does that mean non-typicals? Does it mean something maybe more than that? I think we're all hoping that that is gonna be non-typicals, but what if it's more than that? What if they're thinking about adding maybe some other things. And in this video, uh, I've got some ideas, I've got some hopes, some predictions for what might be coming down the line as far as come some rare variations in the game. So in this video, I wanna talk about that and I hope you guys enjoy it. Let me know down in the comments if you guys agree, disagree, if there's anything else that you guys would wanna see. As always, drop a like on the video, of course. It helps so much, I really appreciate it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, but let's just jump straight into this one. So basically, Way of the Hunter, they gave us a roadmap about a month ago. They, they've been sharing so much, they've been very transparent. It's really nice to see that from a development uh, team for a video game, for a brand new video game. So they gave us a whole bunch of stuff, things that they're gonna be adding to the game. They've already added a few of those things. Uh, they've talked about fixes, um, you know, stability and gameplay improvements, things like that, multiplayer improvements. These are all things that are coming down the line. We've already seen a lot of hot fixes for some issues. So they've been very diligent. It's very nice to see that. But yeah, this roadmap, the whole roadmap thing is really really cool very impressed with that very impressed with how the developers have been treating the way that they've been just doing everything with the game so far nine rocks games and tsq nordic big shout out to them really really happy with the way that they've been doing things um but basically the main thing in this there's one main thing on that roadmap that i want to talk about that's got me and probably most of the community most of the people that are really enjoying this game really really excited and that's at the bottom of the coming soon section in the middle of the roadmap where it says unique slash rare animals so Rares are coming, that's confirmed. We know there's gonna be rares, so different rare fur variations, plumage variations for the different animals in the game. Hopefully they all have their own kind of unique uh, set of variations that they can be, right? Albinos, piebalds, different things for the pheasants, different things for the ducks. That's very, very exciting. Super excited for that. Once they start to add the rares and these uniques, whatever those are that they're talking about, it's gonna add so much longevity to the game. Replayability, right now all you can go for is five stars. That's something that, you know, once you get so many of those of, of certain species, it's gonna kind of take away from, you know, if I've got five, Five, five star whitetail. I'm probably not gonna be super excited when I see a herd of whitetail because I know there isn't gonna be any anything in there that I don't have. Unless I'm going for a personal best or something, unless I'm going for, you know, a 499 or 500 scoring whitetail, you know, you know you're not gonna see a rare, you know you're not gonna see a non-typical or anything like that. So once they add that, I think they're gonna bring a lot more viewers in, a lot more people that are still mainly interested in Call of the Wild, which is fantastic, but I think a lot of the people that are so interested in Call of the Wild overway of the hunters because there are great ones. And you know, the non-typicals that they can go for in, as in the great ones, and the rare fur types, super rares, things like that. So as this game grows, as Wave of the Hunter grows, I can see it being uh, a lot more appealing to that audience once they start adding more things, new maps will come, new species. But mainly, yeah, in this video, I wanna talk about the uniques, whatever that means, whatever I think that means. I'm gonna kinda talk about what I do think that means, and I do have uh, a bit of a prediction and an estimation as to what that might mean. And then, of course, rare animals. So, like I said, the rares, rare fur variations, amazing. I can't wait for them to do that. I think it's gonna look amazing. Hopefully they are very, very rare. You know, one in 2,000 or one in 3,000 kind of thing, kind of like Call of the Wild, maybe even more rare. I think would be really exciting. But what do they mean by unique? What does this mean? So hopefully it does mean not typical. I think most people think that that's what that means. I think most of us are hoping that that's what that means. I'm definitely hoping that. But what if it, what if it means more than that, right? What if they could be adding velveting to the game? And that's what I'm kind of hoping for here. So I've kind of come up with a system here. I'm hoping that they're adding rares. I'm hoping that we're gonna get some velveting. Uh, how that would work, I'm not sure. Maybe at uh, a random, part of an animal's lifespan, it can start to velvet. And then maybe after that kind of fades off, it can shed after, and then either, you know, it's too old by then and it dies after it sheds, or maybe it can just be at a random time in their life. Maybe it can happen when they're young, right? So that when you find a velveting animal, it could be big or it could be small, make it totally random, but make it rare. Make it just as rare as a rare fur type, right? If you see a velveting animal, super exciting, it's rare. I don't think I got him. Right there. I 
Where are you going? Coming back? Oh. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that was the right one. Did we just actually- did that just happen? Did I shoot the right one? No way. That was the right one. Wow, that is like the coolest thing I've ever done. Huh, that's crazy. I smoked it with that first shot. That's an insane way to get a five-star goose. <laughs> Pretty epic. Maybe velvets, shedding velvets, and then you would have the non-typicals, and you would have your five- your five stars. So, um, that would make for a lot of different combinations, right? You could start going after uh, rare velvets or rare non-typicals, which would be very, very rare. Or, you know, even more rare, let's say like a, an albino non-typical five-star whitetail, insanely rare. And then you could go even further and you could end up having rare velvet non-typical five-stars. So a rare velvet non-typical five-star would be like, you know, the holy grail of, of a rare deer kind of thing. So. I think that would be really cool. They could add other kind of things maybe for the pig species, the species that don't have antlers, right? The badgers, the smaller game, the foxes. Maybe they could do more than just the rare fur variations. Maybe for the foxes and the badgers and the smaller game, they could add something else too, right? Maybe um, molting. Molting could be a thing that they could add to kind of... Uh, you know, in place of velveting for the animals that don't have antlers. So I'm hoping that, yeah, I'm hoping they're going to take it even one step further. Uh, I'm super excited to see what they are going to do. I'm sure whatever they do is going to be amazing, but I think it's going to add so many more layers to this game. It's going to add a lot of depth. It's going to bring a lot more people in. Uh, there's going to be a lot more interest, I think. There's already tons of interest in Way of the Hunter, and the people who are playing it, the people who are enjoying it, are really, really loving it. I am one of those people. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I think that's all I wanted to talk about. I kind of, I've been thinking about this for the last couple days and kind of thinking about how it could work as far as uh, the rare system in the game. This is what I'm hoping for. I'm hoping there's going to be not only rares, but also velvets and maybe shedding velvets and then obviously the non-typicals. And then we've already got the five stars, which are basically the equivalent of like a diamond. So we would have super rares or ultra rares or whatever we would end up calling them. The terminology kind of usually gets made by the community. And uh, I hope you guys are excited for it too. If you are, let me know down in the comments. Let me know what you guys want to see on the channel. If there's anything in particular that you guys want to see me do and call the wild or on way of the hunter or in the angler or in the survival games that we've been playing. Don't forget to drop a like on the video if you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one.